Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy oh, I have no. ever encountered. Okay, you am frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. Hey, Aggie. You can clean my shoes. This school is filled with wild feet. You want me to steal your stuff back from a bloodthirsty mob of angry greaseballs? <laughs> Get used to it, kid. You're a man. No, no, no. I always knew I was a born leader, Ernest. <laughs> I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Come here. You're a degenerate! The fake guy trusted you! You're a pig! You ruined my life! Bullworth is a microcosm for the whole world. I like you, Jimmy Hopkins, but I need you to do something. Go for away, me. Jimmy! And boy, that nose of yours? Keep it clean. Welcome to Bullworth! <laughs> Hello there and welcome. Welcome to my full review of Bully from Rockstar Games. This game was released for the PlayStation 2 in the year 2006. Bully starts with the particular character named Jimmy Hopkins. Right from the bat, you could tell that Hopkins is living with a really troubled parenting issue, and this is clearly affecting his mindset and behavior. Hopkins was kicked out of every singular school before being dumped off like cargo at the worst possible institute in history. Bullworth Academy. Bullies instantly try smacking Hopkins around like a piece of cheese, yet he stands up for himself and his newfound friends. He also finds treachery throughout the events of the story, and that's where we leave it from there. The game is about eccentric people in Bullworth, despite how readily strange, psychopathic, awkward, or nerdy they might actually appear to be. It's a typical slice of sorority pie as shenanigans occur from a deep underbelly. The game is more or less reshaped like a reshaped GTA. It's, it's basically GTA in high school if I'm making any sense about that. It's not a bad thing though because GTA has fine gameplay. Bully also has core alterations which perfectly fit this setting. After all, Hawkins is a juvenile delinquent who still needs to attend class like a good boy. Upon first impressions, I originally believed this idea would never work. I didn't even like high school way back when, when I was there, so I was very skeptical that a game would make curriculums any less than tedious. Turns out I was vastly wrong in my assessment. Like class actually felt really fun and it felt rewarding when you get down to brass tacks, but more on that later. On the grounds of Bullworth, there will be a lot of things going on. A lot of fighting, a lot of chasing, a lot of shenanigans on the pure mission structure that it's based on. Bullworth Academy is basically the first central locale until the open world opens up and offers up infinite possibility. The prefects act like the security guards or police officers around the school. If you're caught fighting, looting, bullying, or using weapons, they will try apprehending you. Some crimes are smaller than others. If you are only caught looting stuff, then Jimmy can crack a prefect's nuts like the nutcracker suite to escape his grip. Other more offensive crimes like the crime of punching a child in the face will unleash a hazardous hailstorm of search and destroy as that party will try to hunt you down and instantly will arrest Hopkins if he's grabbed immediately. If Hopkins is taken by prefects more than once, then you might have to mow the lawn good because the tension features avid consequence, and that's time consequence as well. Police presence will also react violently outside of the school, so much so that they'll punch a child in the back of the head off a bike just for any major infraction. I think these officers just believe in some Bullworth Street justice if they're on crime patrol this hard. Watch out, you shithead bitch. Jokes aside, remember when I said it's time for school, school activities in Bully? Well, 
curriculums are usually done as mini games. It's all split into gym class, chemistry, English, shop, art, and photography. Some of it might be a little bit more simpler to understand than others, especially gym where you're just well on nerves with a dodgeball, and as they say, if you could dodge a wrench, then you could dodge a ball. Others like English have a very distinctive pattern where it plays like Scrabble? How many words can you discover before your brain actually melts? It's not too hard at times, certainly not too easy either. Once a class is completed five times in a row, then you can access a kit of new abilities. For example, if you complete a chemistry course that unlocks cool stuff like stink bombs that make people smell bad, or the itchy twitchy powder that suits all the growing needs of nefarious misdeeds. There are various stereotypes and cliques that frequent Bullworth. You'll see them as bullies, nerds, jocks, greasers, and preppies. They give a flavor to the overall world around you, and sometimes you will engage with Queensberry rules only. Bully has an extensive fighting system. Considering that GTA's melee was very basic for the time, this rules. It's a lot of cues that was taken from Rockstar's The Warriors, where you could grab someone and watch the bladder empty as pure fear causes them to piss their pants. That's probably the most hilarious part of this game. You can do bully based finishers when the health bar is low, and you can also cram someone's head in the toilet as they cry chocolate tears for agony to your own personal amusement. Despite Hopkins taking a stand against the bullies, it wouldn't be much of a game if there wasn't hypocrisy in the mix. I also like that you can get guns like firecracker launchers, potato cannons, and marbles so people can slip on them. It's so damn fun to see these items and gadgets in play when you just run over, pull a fire alarm, lay marbles on the ground near the doorways, and see the complete chaos as classmates slip on them like they fell on a warm turkey. The gameplay is absolutely fun. You can call it Grand Theft Auto Teen, but I just don't care. It works in the fashion of the high jinx that you will witness and create in the gameplay. That is always paramount and it always will be. The voices and presentation are just so well done yet again. Rockstar is at the top of their class for making dialogue. These kids sound vastly different with unique personalities and no NPC is ever the same. From Jimmy's constant doubt to Gary's bossy tone to PD sounding fragile, the main thing that Rockstar is good at is having consistent and convincing sound design that fits with the theme they chose personally. You'll see Rust Belt towns, a giant school, rich and snooty preparatory cities, and people. It's a lot of hustle and bustle where most of these areas matter, and they have different classes of people around them. The graphics are once again passable, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt here. It is an open world game with a lot under the hood. It's not as glitzy or neon filled as Vice City. Vice City was certainly one of the best looking open world PS2 games that Rockstar made at that point and I still will stand by that. This game is not a slouch though, it's just a little bit weird. Everyone has this sort of disproportionate cartoon like structure and I think that's sort of the art style that they wanted for this particular roller coaster. It's not the most detailed thing in the world, even the most clean in this art style. However, I guess it's supposed to look a bit abnormal regardless. The music is completely cool. It's largely original, so you won't hear any licensed music in this one, and maybe that's a good thing because I heard that Rockstar had to actually remove musical tracks out of later renditions of GTA and even the Warriors. There's always that lingering child-induced chime when you're playing Bully, and it's so awesome. Awesome. It feels like nostalgia. It feels like revisiting the past and being a kid yet again. Every single click also has their own distinctive fight theme to them that fits their personality, that fits their flair. So when going against the geeks, it felt like Revenge of the Nerds inspired, you know what I mean, as I mow them down with my big Baconator fist. I don't know if Bully feels shorter or longer compared to most GTAs during this time. However, that's not bad for what I estimated to be around 15 hours of main story content with enriching stuff to do in the open world that will add to that timer. 
boxing classes, school, arcade games, collectibles, unlockable abilities. You have like three islands to explore, etc. There's a lot to be done in so little time. You'll be going back into the world over and over and over again. I just remember playing this as a kid and going, I could just go around, steal scooters and have fun in the neighborhood once the open world became my oyster. From the upgraded slingshot skateboards to make traveling fast, I was instantly familiar with the prevalent mechanics of the game. If you picked up Scholarship Edition, then that would be the definitive version of Bully. I'm reviewing currently the PS2 version, but there is an enhanced edition that's on PC and Xbox 360. I'm not sure if they ported it over to Xbox One. I assume it is backwards compatible nonetheless. Either way, it has enhanced graphics, fixed bugs, and a new clothing edition in your in your sort of closet as you go through classes and all that stuff and you get new clothes and new trophies um you also get extra missions involving a drunk bad santa that's lingering around the neighborhood during the new winter section there's also new classes there's math music biology and geography Bully really feels like an extravagant parody of school-like tropes that involve higher-than-life oddball characters. The story and the comedic moments between Jimmy and his situations are, quite frankly, hilarious. The premise might sound very basic, but off paper, it just works. Why? It's due to the believability once more and the entrancing trouble within Bullworth. Authority is there as a figure to keep order and peace, and we're breaking down some walls. That's really how it felt as a kid going against what is deemed as opposition during the time. With so much to learn, so much to offer, and so much to do, I really can't think of many negatives outside of the fact that the weapon cycling can take a bit to get used to since it's not the most user friendly. Of course, we evolved into GTA weapon wheels. So yeah, at the time, this was hard getting used to the cycling system. I would also say that Jimmy's charisma could have been a bit more finer tuned since he does fall into the lap dog category for a small bulk of the story. I kind of got annoyed by that. I would say that basically he feels a little bit one dimensional on his behalf, which is why he gets manipulated later on. Either way, it was a solid body of work for a game during the time, and it's a crying shame that we never got a legit sequel to this playhouse. I fully give Bully a complete score of a 9 out of 10. That's how much I enjoyed it, that's how much I appreciate it, and I can't give it any more substantial praise than I already have. Make sure this one makes its way upon your backlog, make sure you buy it whenever you can, make sure it's in your collection, I will say it's 100% worth it. Alright, I'm ready to get operative, I'm signing out, hopefully you guys really enjoy this review, this full review of all the trouble chaos that happens in Bullworth Academy with all the diverse cast and everything. They got a banner friggin' yearbook of all the NPCs that you can go around and like punch in the face. So I I, I just, uh, it's astounding this game to me. It's just so much to do. And I, honestly, I can't wait to get the Platinum Trophy next year because it's just one of my favorites and I, I would wholly recommend it if you're into that sort of Holden Caulfield, you know, type of environment and experience and how to deal with like a very, very eccentric, stereotyped portion of how school is, then I, I think you're gonna love it because it translates well into a video game and that's all that matters. And like I said, crying shame on Rockstar for not doing Bully 2. But hopefully one day someone just makes a successor of the formulas there. Like the entire blueprint is there to play around with. So hopefully I give some people some ideas in the process. Anyway, I'm legit signing out. I'm gonna go and serve my detention right now. Hopefully you take care. And once again, uh, get a hall pass. Don't be fucking late. <laughs> Don't be late to class. <laughs> See you later.